If you're ever building a new service that is a rewrite of an old service, why is shadow traffic so important? So what happens right now today is you're going to have your old service right here. Your old service is going to take in some sort of HTTP request coming in, whatever it is, and it's going to respond with some data, whatever that data is. A shadow request is pretty simple. You take your new service and you actually take this request and you split it off and hit your new service. Your new service then responds also, and it has what it responds with. You're going to take this data and store it somewhere or you live compare it at the point of completion. And you just say, hey, how is new service doing? Is new service doing a good job? Is new service responding the same way as old service? It's like a canary, except for it's not serving any real world traffic. It's not a comparison of real world. It's a comparison of, is this thing ready for the real world? And this is an extremely effective technique to make sure that whatever you've made is the same as the old version.